Infections of the finger. Infection of the finger is common and it can vary in severity. Serious infection of the fingers will require urgent surgical care. What is a felon? A felon is deep infection of the soft pad or pulp of the fingertips, usually the result of a puncture wound. Swelling or pus is trapped in the small compartments of the pulp or the tip of the finger. What are the symptoms? Unusual redness or swelling, firm swelling, throbbing pain at the tip of the finger, visible yellowish area of pus. If infection goes untreated, it may lead to severe symptoms such as skin necrosis, flexor tenosynovitis, osteomyelitis, and arthritis of the distal interpharyngeal joint. Treatment. Antibiotics if the infection is caught early. Surgery is the usual treatment. Incision and drainage of the felon. As you can see here. If there is no foreign body in the finger, you will do the mid-axial incision or the J-shaped incision and you will leave the wound open. If there is a foreign body present, such as a splinter or a thorn, you will do the volar longitudinal incision, as you can see here. Try to avoid doing the fish mouth incision. It will lead to unstable finger pulp. Paronychia. Symptoms. Swelling, redness, pus formation, pain in the soft tissue around the nail plate. Treatment. Antibiotics if the infection is caught early. Surgery is the usual treatment. Incision and drainage with or without partial nail removal for subangular abscess. As you can see here, herpetic wetulo, painful infection caused by the herpes simplex virus that usually affects the fingers or the thumb. Herpetic wetulo is seen in dentists, respiratory therapists, and anesthesiologists. It can also affect toddlers. Children who suck their thumb. Symptoms. Swelling and tenderness, redness, fever, swollen lymph nodes, burning pain and vesicles on the finger, which can be grouped together with inflammation and redness at the base of the finger. The fluid in the vesicle is usually clear, not purulent. Treatment. Conservative treatment. The infection is self-limiting. Antiviral treatments applied to the skin is cyclovir. Antibiotics are not used unless secondary infection is present. No surgery. Surgery can make the situation worse. Flexor tenosynovitis. Relatively common infection of the hand, usually caused by staph aureus usually occurs due to prior penetrating trauma and infection. The index, middle, and ring fingers are most commonly affected. Symptoms. Painful swelling of the finger that hurts worse with motion. What are the canavels signs? There are four cardinal signs. Number one, uniform swelling of the entire finger. It's a fusiform swelling. The finger looks like a sausage. Number two, the finger is flexed. Number three, intense pain when attempting to straighten the finger, and that occurs very early. Number four, tenderness along the course of the tendon sheath. This is the most important sign. Treatment. If infection is caught early, you can treat it by IV antibiotics. If infection is severe, you need to do open drainage. 
do early drainage of the infection to avoid skin loss, tendon necrosis, and osteomyelitis. Here you can see a picture of surgical incisions used to drain the flexor sheath infection. Use mid-axial or Brunner incision, or you can use two small incisions, one proximally at A1 poly and one distally at A5 poly. Use an angiocath for irrigation. You will give culture-specific IV antibiotics. Infection may spread from the tendon into the deep palmar space or into the peronus space in the forearm. And here you can see how the infection can spread. The little finger communicates with the ulnar bursa. The thumb communicates with the radial bursa. The radial and the ulnar bursa communicate proximal to the carpal tunnel. Infection may travel from the little finger into the ulnar bursa to the peronus space. Infection can also travel from the thumb into the radial bursa to the peronus space. Infection may cause host show tenosynovitis. Infection travel from the thumb through the radial bursa to the ulnar bursa infecting the little finger may need combination of incisions for drainage. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.